You want to take her turn? I mean, you're, you're really, you're really. Because it's only pot. <laughs> Just come back here, please. The present. So I have to do, how are I doing this? Like I'm not frightened now? My foodies, today we in the yard again with Dave and it's all about pumpkin takari. So let's get cooking. All right, so Kez, mm. pumpkin takari. In the yard. In the yard. So we have our cast iron pot mm -hmm. and as you can see, flame is nice and um, high there. Hi, hi, hi. And then we have some vegetable oil that's already in the pot, so okay. that is going to heat up. Okay. What we're going to do first is once this uh, gets to the right temperature, mm -hmm. we're going to hit it with some raw jeera. The actual seeds. The seeds, yeah. got it. When that is roasted and gets nice and dark, then we're going to do our pimento, mm -hmm. hot pepper, right. onion, garlic, mm -hmm. and then some salt and pepper on the pumpkin. Simple things, but real simple. You bring pumpkin for the whole neighborhood. Yeah, well, all they, this pumpkin. They said that you're going to be hungry, so I said, well, all right, yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need to prepare. <laughs> we have pumpkin to share today, guys. We have pumpkin to share. All right, so. Let's just test and see if this oil is ready. Okay, and how do we know if the oil is ready? Normally you will see a little bit of smoke coming up, um, mm -hmm. but with the sunlight it's sometimes hard to tell. Right. So we're going to use the jeera and test, right? So that is almost there because you see they start to bubble. Yeah, and right. it floats a little bit. So what you want, you know the oil is ready when it starts to bubble a lot more. Vigorously. Um, yeah, a lot more <laughs> vigorously and comes up quicker, right? Okay. So a couple minutes again and this oil will be ready. Okay, no problem. We'll observe, but as we're observing, mm -hmm. now I know you like to match with me, right? Yeah. Because we're cool. But I see you wearing a shirt here that I appreciate. Guys, if you don't know about this classic book here, <laughs> did you even go to school? We probably didn't, at least not in Trinidad. I mean, the West Indian reader, you have to have one, or you have to have seen it, heard about it. Tell us in the comments, you still have a West Indian reader at home? You have one? I, I have one. Of course. <laughs> I like it. I like it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just didn't want to look like anybody else, you know, so um, and I always like the classic retro stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I decided just to start to make my own T-shirts. And yeah. And you went with a great book. Yeah, there you go. Approved. <laughs> right. Are we looking on the heat there? Yeah, we're almost coming to come. Right. A couple more minutes again. I will give it a few and check back. Right. Okay. So you see, the oil is nice and hot now. Mm hmm. And that's the kind of action you want. Ah, the bubbles and the action. Yeah. I get oh, you. you can smell that right now. Let me assist you, Sue. I see you're holding this up here. <laughs> I don't know for why. Thank you. You smelling that? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what you want. You want the jira to go from that sort of like golden brown color. Yeah. And just let it start to get dark and dark. Yeah. A nice rich brown. Yep. Head into what's like almost black. Okay. So you want a nice roasted jira flavor. Got you. So what's next to be added? Right, so next we're gonna hit it the onion okay. and the peppers. Are you ready? I am indeed. Mm -hmm. Right. Ooh! <laughs> Good job, Kez. I mean, I'm making this entertaining. And your peppers. Yes, please. So that's the hot pepper. Mm-hmm. And your pimento pepper now. Sure. I'm getting all those smells hitting me right in the news because all these fumes come in directly at me. You're going to end up smelling fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and so we let this cook down or? You just let it cook, go for a little bit. Out. Yeah, not, not too much. Maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. Right. Because um, as you know, the garlic burns a lot faster. Yes. Right. And because the oil is so hot, you've seen how our onions are getting color already. Yes. All right. So you have that nice little caramel action going on mm -hmm. there. Peppers getting nice and roasted. A with nice the jira. rich flavor for the pumpkin to make. Right, and you notice that the oil has kind of calmed down a little bit. Yes. Because when you, the more ingredients you add, mm -hmm. the temperature is going to drop. Right? Got it. All right, and I think we're ready for the garlic now. The garlic action. Yep. Perfect. Everything, everything. Perfect. So we're just going to stir that. So now we all in. We're just gonna look at the garlic. When it starts to go a bit brown, mm -hmm. then we're gonna hit it with some pumpkin. So then the pumpkin for the neighborhood. Yep. I would love to see all this pumpkin fit in this pot. Pumpkin for the whole borough. And who, right? who's going to be stirring all this pumpkin in that small pot? 
<laughs> well, Kez, we go see now. We go <laughs> find out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll really see. Right, so looking mm -hmm. at my garlic, I'm starting to see it's starting to get yeah, a little, little brown. Yeah, a little crisper on the edges. Yep, perfect. Right, so we are ready for the pumpkin. We are ready for the whole shebang. All right. You can go right ahead, I'll give you the lean. You're such a good helper, okay? <laughs> I try. I don't know what I'll do without you. Right. That's enough? That's good. You're then. sure you don't want to just show the whole thing? No, no, no. You go on here and cut. I told you it was going to be too much pumpkin. But you don't listen to me. But you need to have space in the pot to turn, you see? Ah. So if you overfill it, it's mm -hmm. going to come fall all over. So, so we just want to make sure now and just get all those ingredients mixed around right. properly. So make sure that it, it's coating all of the pumpkin as well. Yep. And how long generally does it take for the pumpkin to start cooking down? It really does depend um, on like uh, how how ripe or not the pumpkin is right right but generally it you're gonna check it every five to seven minutes and okay. it starts in about 15. okay yeah sure. so you're gonna turn a bit and turn then bit. check back no we're gonna add some salt and pepper ah so we season it now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you have I to season you. now i'm and taking notes i'm taking notes as usual we under salt mm -hmm. because we want to be able to adjust it and if, if it's too salty to. we can't do anything absolutely right? and then some pepper just normal black pepper. Got it. Good. Then we're going to turn. Mm -hmm. We want to get all the stuff that's on the bottom. To the top. To the top. Mix get that mix around in the middle as well. And your skills are turning are superb, my friend. I learned it at a very young age. Otherwise, it was this. <laughs> <laughs> Two in your tail if yeah. it wasn't behaving. <laughs> It looks so nice and rich. That bright color. What were you eating with this um, pumpkin to carry with? Um, your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring anything, no sada? I did nothing? not bring any sada. I, I, I have to apologize. What kind of friend are you? It means the next thing that we cook, definitely sada is going to be involved. So sada on the menu next. Sada is going to be on the menu next. Your head. He promised me sada, okay? Heard it here, folks. Somebody write it down. <laughs> they promised me sada. It's going to happen. Look, you have a mm -hmm. couple million witnesses. Mm -hmm. They are <laughs> listening to you, so you have to make good on this promise, my friend. I will, I will. Right. Now we're just going to cover that. Okay. And just let the magic do its work. Sure. Right, guys. So we're about halfway through. Okay. Right. Uh, been about anywhere between 10 and 12 minutes. Yeah. All right. Ooh. All right, so. Things looking so. You see, like how it's starting to get a bit gloopy. Yeah. Soft on the ends, kind of thing. So that's the moisture in the pumpkin itself coming out. Okay. All right, so we just want to give this a turn. So I'm going to get a bit mushy. And we want to do a little bit of a pressing action. So as you well. kind of turn, press, turn, press. Turn, press, turn, press. You see how it's breaking up quite easy? Yeah. Like that? That's what we want. Because we want this to just get like this sort of mushy time kind of texture let me get a little feel of the tin press now just just a be my just guess a just, just a one no no you don't <laughs> run so we turn so and kind of just press it yeah okay but you need to put some strength in it huh? oh then no i don't have much of that <laughs> i could mash it though i could mash it. i could do the press the yeah, tin is yeah. a problem i'll, I'll take you're I'll doing take well though school. you're doing so well at least a for effort a for effort thank you c for product what? <laughs> so, <laughs> right? So we're just going to continue to mash. This has yeah. about maybe another 10 minutes like that. And we're going to keep on checking this. So like our next five minutes, okay. we're going to check it again. We're going so to we mash cover it, it back? again. Yeah, we are going to cover it All back. All right, sure. Because we want this to cook within its own moisture that comes out. Ah. Yeah, that's okay. what we want. Got it. Looking good. <laughs> right, Ken. So we're almost there. Right. Almost. Let me check the progress. Oh, oh yeah. Significantly careful, my friend. Sorry. Significantly different. Now we mushy. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. that's when the whole press and turn, press and turn, when that comes into play. Okay. So you see this almost liquid. Yeah. That is what you want. You want to take a turn? I mean, you're, you're really, you're really. Get it on the pot. <laughs> Just come back here, please. The present, so I have to do, how are I doing this? Like I'm not frightened now? You tell me I was frightened just now. 
So just press down. Okay. Like all these squarish Flip, pieces. Press. Uh, yeah. Like press. this man in the corner here. Eh? Yeah. Press. And there, push. Okay. There you go. Listen, I don't I not saying I was any expert on this at all. This is why I brought you here to teach me <laughs> so I could go and practice. You're doing, you're doing well. And all this moisture here. Uh-huh. Is it gonna dry out? That's gonna dry out. Here, here yeah. Here you you see? And I was about to take a vacation. <laughs> right? You don't run away from me. <laughs> so this is gonna dry out. Right. Right. So this has about maybe like a seven minutes again thereabouts. Okay. Yeah. And covered, uncovered. You're gonna cover it. Okay. Right? And just gonna keep on turning. So pretty soon we're gonna have pumpkin to eat. Sounds good. Right, kids. <sighs> so um, this is what you get when you're cooking in the yard. A little rain, but that's not stopping us. Nothing ever stops it. So you see. Yeah, it all dried down. All dried down. Very nicely. Moisture is gone. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look anything like what we started out with. <laughs> oh, where's <laughs> all the pumpkin for the neighborhood? That's the thing about pumpkin, it goes all the way down. Ah. Alright, so, so this, this is pretty much done. Yeah. So my next question, of course, is it, is it time for the tasting? It is definitely time for the tasting. Well, uh, after you, because I brought the bowl. Alright, fantastic. Can you get this in? Don't worry, I, I got you covered here with the umbrella. Right, so to serve, I'm just going to use a spoon. Since you didn't bring any soda, all we could do is, you know, taste the thing. Next time, kids. Mm -hmm. This is so nice and vibrant looking. Smells of jira and goodness. And it's hot. It's a little blue. I'm waiting for you to try first before I know if I'll burn my mouth. You all right? You're not going to burn your mouth, no. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really nice pumpkin. It's a little hot. <laughs> But so, so good. So you get in the jira, mm -hmm. you taste in the onions, the garlic and that everything. That nice sweetness of the pumpkin that it yeah. naturally has. Yeah, yeah, the nice mm -hmm. natural sweetness. Would have been great with some sada. Like I said, the next time, I promise, millions of viewers, mm -hmm. I promise on her sada roti next time. Mm -hmm. But we do have the sada and it's still excellent on its own. Fantastic. Thank you, my friend, for joining me in the yard. Guys, be sure to try this pumpkin, Sakari. It was worth it. Don't try it outside in the rain, but try it still. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.